guys, it's your girl Tori and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to BGYO's comeback. Patintero, am I saying that correctly? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, official Envy. I am excited. I am thrilled and everything. Like, I don't know what to expect. All I know is that the photo concepts, okay. I'm loving the photos. I love the group photos. I loved all their photos. But I did find it a little funny that if you guys know from day one, I have been a Mickey and Nate bias from Sha Trainee days to this day now. Now I keep misfit, misfit. No, no, baby. No, baby. Don't mess with that. Um, I have been a huge supporter of those two since Sha tra Trainee days, and on top of that, I know a lot of people are probably tired of me saying that, but you never know who's new, who's not. Um, I do get wrecked by JL, Jello, and Akira on the daily. I love them all. They all add their flavor to BGYO, which is why I stand them so hard. Um, I am a multi stan as well, guys, okay, just so you know. So if you follow me on Twitter, I do follow other groups. I do support other groups. I am not just a one stan show. Like I like music in general. I just love artists and showing appreciation to the ones that I adore so much and connect to. So let me just state that now, okay? Because some people, when they see I support SB19, they get mad. If they see that I support BGYO, they get mad because it's not their group or something like that. Like the group that they stand, stand. I'm a multi stand. Always have been for K pop and all that and everything like that, okay? So I just want to state that. Um, but I am excited for this, okay? What vibe are they going to give? But my biases both had, um, oh God, cotton candy. That's what I was getting at. They both had cotton candy. And I was just like, what are the odds that my two biases would have the same item? One had pink, one had blue, of course, but still, you know? But I am excited. Let's see what this vibe is. And yeah, let's dive on in, shall we? Um, be sure to follow me on Twitter and IG and hit that lovely red subscribe button, guys, all right? Misfit, what are you doing, baby? ABS. Oh, I love the colors. Oh, you scare me, Miss Fit. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. First off, I love the beat so far. Two, I love that they're like squaring off like with kids for like a it almost looks like a dance battle type thing you see a kid i like i can't see you you're shorter than me mm -mm. i don't see you <laughs> um but i'm loving it and i also love mickey i love mickey's long hair but i also like his short hair as well and i love jl's hair it's always been stylish but i love how he has like the little trim of the i don't know what that is called like when they have the lines and designs like fade i guess it's Come here, baby. I think you need to you need to hear the song too. Let let everyone see your beautiful face. She's my one-eyed kitty cat, guys. This is Miss Fit Cleo. She's 
hardcore watching them. I love it. Are you an ace now too? I know you're an anchor because you like Vince's voice. She loves Vince's voice. But are you a, are you an ace too? Are you loving them? Are you loving them too, Misfit? I love that. That's miracle. This is so playful. This is like a different element for them. Different vibe, different style, and I'm here for it. Jella! So cute! <laughs> You know what? I give it props because normally um, Mickey wears a lot of dark clothes. Um, oh, I pause at the perfect time. Like, look at Akira. Look at Akira. Look at that smile. He gives me. Do you guys know what the term golden retriever vibes is? Like, do you know what that means? It's like, like a good boyfriend and such like that. Like, um, they say gamer boys have a uh, golden retriever energy what mirror mirror what miracle what are you doing behave um that's the that's the vibe that he's giving me here but mickey wears a lot of dark clothes and he's like wearing like a lot of white yes mirror mirror Those kids had so much fun hanging out with them. Ah! Look at my baby. <laughs> Plot twist. I'm sorry, I'm pausing a lot. Plot twist. Plot twist. I'm just saying. These kids in this MV are the new trainees. You know, that would be funny. If the like the kids that were facing off, you know. They're the new trainees in the making. Oh my god. Was that uh, the purple ice cream like taro? Taro ice cream? I don't know if you guys have that. I've never had taro ice cream. I've had uh, taro um, milk tea. Is that all? Is there like extra clips of them playing around? I thought that was cute. And um, like it's different from everything else. Like I love that VGYO with each comeback that they have. It's a different element. A new like. It's like they're showing us a new skill of theirs because all their songs are so versatile like they play around with so much they can go hard like the baddest of them all you know um or they can be like cutesy and upbeat like he's into her and such you know and then they have their ballads and such like that like this is more like a refreshing springy cool vibe like right now it's it's still technically winter weather for me over here but like this is a nice spring thing like you i can just picture like i don't know why having a picnic or whatever you know a little get together with all my little cousins and my aunt and my family just having this play in the background and um and just being outside playing little like field game type things and have this play like it just gives that type of good vibe to me and I love that I love it but they always give me good vibes always and I always find their MVs so intriguing to watch and they're just so top-notch I love it 
But you guys know me, I'm all about supporting P-pop and artists in general, as we all should be. We should all support one another because honestly, BGYO wants, you know, music to get well known globally. So does, you know, other artists as well from the Philippines. But like, it's nice that more internationals are getting introduced to Filipino music and such like that. P-pop groups, everything like that. That's so fascinating to me. Oh, look, there's Miracle, Miss Ficleo, my children. Um, so I love that factor. I love the positive energy and everything like that. You guys know me, okay? I love to try to stay positive at all times because there's too much hate in the world that I'm just not into fandom wars. I'm not into negativity like that. I don't judge people based off their sexuality, race, where they're from, religion. Honey, if we all like fall on the ground, um, scrape our knee, we all bleed the same. So it doesn't faze me. That's why I love doing what I do. I love introducing music because music is universal. It's a universal language. And that's what I find fascinating. Like, I'm so happy I was able to introduce BGYO to my Tita Meg and my Tita and Tito, um, well, Tita, Janet, and Tito Joe. Um, and I'm hoping to introduce, oh, and my coworker slash friend, Melissa, I introduced BGYO to her as well. Um, I can't wait to keep introducing Filipino groups and other, like, groups in general. Like, get more people aware of international music. Like, I've been judged for years by my family, by, like, random people just because I like k-pop I like j-pop I like p-pop like artists that don't speak English but I'm like you can feel the vibe you can feel the meaning behind the story if you watch the MV you can also grasp some MVs are really far-fetched but <clears throat> neither here nor there you get the vibe with them you get the emotion you know so I'm gonna continue doing what I love which is introducing more people to music Slowly but surely, unfortunately, my mom and my little sister both do not want to be on the channel. They want to stay off the internet in that sense of way, which is completely fine. Same with my stepfather, probably. Um, so that just leaves a bunch of probably children, guys. A lot of my cousins probably would. Misfit. No, no. So stay tuned for all that fun stuff. Also, um, I love it. Just continue to love and support BGYO, guys. I can't wait to see what other songs they'll come out with in 2024. I'm excited. <laughs> love you guys.